Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Uh, lovers of truth, wisdom, the pursuit of the um, esoteric and inner path. And uh, irreverence and sarcasm. <laughs> because most of these latter are much needed now more than ever before. And um, first I wish to begin the, today's video with um, a thank you to all the um, new subscribers. Um, I thank the man who is responsible for this, and namely Hammerhand. Um, he's a the man is a fucking legend. And uh, <clears throat> thanks to his um, kind gesture, I made my little my new little channel here is um, starting to gain some kind of traction, I suppose, considering it was around forty um, subscribers for the longest time. <laughs> um, Okay, a little bit of background for the uh, new people. Um, my, uh, my, I suppose technically still my main channel, Reef Magos, has been um, at uh, currently 400, and, down to 419 subscribers, has been for whatever strange reason um, gaining the attention of the censorship Gestapo of uh, YouTube. Um, fuck knows why, I mean, a channel that small, you're kidding, right? But uh, no, I do, I do not. Um, <clears throat> because no matter how large or small your channel is, you, um, it, truth is always unpopular, especially during times of thought control and, um, Orwellian nightmare and, um, V for Vendetta reality. <laughs> hell of a film, by the way, hell of a comic. Um, but, um. So I decided to release videos now on my on this my pagan monk channel. Um, I suppose for for a few reasons, um, some of them namely being um, a clean slate, no connection to any past drama gobshites that I um, happen to be um, acquainted with, uh, and. Um, it annoys the fuck out of the 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 imperious um, holier than thou Abrahamic gobshites who think their only um, their uh, religious worldview is the only one, and everyone who doesn't accept it will be burning in an eternal lake of fire. Even though there's no hell actually anywhere in the New Testament. Dear oh dear, can you read the original Hellenic? I can. But I digress. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Now, no, I don't need to go to Strong's Young's or Vine's Concordance either. Oh dear. No, Hades does not mean the grave. For fuck's sake. But uh, I digress. But, um, yeah, on this channel, I feel that the um, more open to uh, doing any kind of more esoterically, philosophically themed um, videos. And I do, I, I do beg your pardon for any coughing. It's um, <coughs> it's what passes for spring here, um, and the allergies are going absolutely crazy. See, I'm, I'm allergic to this country. <laughs> um, I, a little, to which I will add, um, even though I've I've lived here since I was two years old. Uh, originally, we came from Hellas, or as you people may know it, Greece, uh, when I was two years old. Um, yes, I've felt like a stranger in a strange land from the moment I set foot in this strange country. Um, I'm not Australian. Never, never once have I called myself Australian, neither will I. Um, this is where I happen to, to live most of my life. This is not home. Never has been. Um, primary school and especially high school were fun for the racism that I, that I received for being, for not being Anglo. And, um, Especially going to a surfy high school, you can imagine, with a name like mine. Um, no, I didn't anglicise it to Sam or Steve. Thanks. And um, I hate it. I hate surfing. I hated the pot smoking culture, um, and I really couldn't stand these puny, um, peroxided, blonde, um, whiny-voiced little gobshites. Um, and told them so. 
Now it never went went physical because I still had the size. I was one of, still one of the biggest guys in the class. Um, I mean, fucking hell, their their waist was as big as my thigh. You're kidding, aren't you? So I, I mean, I was not a violent chap by any stretch. I just wanted to be left alone to do my thing and get out of there as, with as much of my um, sanity intact as I could. Um, so no, they they never went physical. It was probably much worse. The uh, mental and um, verbal and emotional abuse were interesting by year 11 and 12 when they decided to, oh, okay, we want to be your friend now. So my attitude by that stage was, um, go fuck yourself, you um, you strange foreign gobshites. And uh, I suppose I thank the crucible that was that experience because it helped to make me who I am today. Um, irreverent, um, sarcastic, and um, hopefully making someone like Loki proud with my gift of sarcasm. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, I. Um, it's interesting the way um, the way things are as far as perspectives go. I, I was on a live stream with some of the um, some of the guys the other day. Um, thanks, have a hand. You're a fucking legend. Um, we were talking about uh, this whole um, making Superman, you know, boy or whatever it is now. And um, that got me thinking how, I mean, I, I like to delve into this whole um, purposely created deconstructionist agenda, which is designed to de destroy um, all, tr all traces of um, wonderful human civilization and... Um, Disconnect people from their deep wellspring of power, which is fueled by thought, literature, um, art, music, all the rest of it, all the other, mythology, all the other wonderful um, experiences, expressions of human civilization, which help to um, fuel one's own sense of self and connection to the um, to the global self of humanity. Um, now of course to disconnect people from empowering themselves and reaching their full potential um, you disconnect them from the wellspring that they depend on to achieve that and that's what's going on today with this whole woke Marxist agenda. Of course Marxism in, in itself um, provides one one tool of a um, toolbox of destruction and totalitarian um fuckery of all kind um let's keep keep people powerless and clueless and stupid and as george carlin would say at this point teach them just enough to um know how to work the machines but not enough to um get them out of the the mire of their low station in life um uh, but of course, you know, with his latest um, expression of this, um, namely the magic juice agenda, jab agenda, um, it's got nothing to do with your health. They don't actually give a flying fuck about your health. If they gave a fuck about your health, they wouldn't have um, sprayed DDT and fuck knows what else um, and glyphosate um, all, all over the fucking place. Okay, <laughs> whereas um, bio or whatever they're called now, um, Monsanto slash bio, uh, bio, whatever um, they're called now, um, they're facing continuous, you know, billion dollar um, cancer lawsuits for the chemicals that they've been pumping during the last 50, 60 years. Um, so yeah, it, I think we can safely say now they don't, the they, quote unquote, the powers that be, do not actually give a flying fuck about your health. Um, but um, just with with perspective, it's, some people are commenting on this Superman is by situation. Um, some of the perspective were, you know, diametrically opposed to mine and you know what that's fine because we're all different and we all have different opinions and you know what that's okay um but when you when our inner development when our esoteric um power rests on the on the key principle of um 
thought creates reality, um, perspective becomes even more important. Because if you see nothing but doom and gloom everywhere, guess what your guess what your world's going to be? That's right, doom and gloom. Just like yesterday, um, hearing from a um, beloved friend, um, she is the only female friend I've had. She's pushing mid mid sixties now, um, and um, I received an email um, because I, I had informed her about my mother's passing recently, and um, it was nice to engage in a exchange via email um but there was something there when i said it, it's it's strange now after all these all these years um etc i'm finally fully and totally free and just when i said that she sort of made the the comment back of um something like um you know we're only as free as, as they let us be i'm thinking well no i'm totally totally free i can create any kind of life i want now i'm not shackled to anything um, namely a dementia elderly parent anymore and um, that actually feels rather strange and good at the same time and um, but it just showed that little snippet of exchange showed a difference in, in perspective where I now saw myself as totally free um, she still looked at it as being free only as much as they let us be well see if more and more people give power to that idea then guess what that's going to be the reality we're all going to share um and yes yes you know you, you people who are still slaves to the um five cents um illusion matrix um don't quite understand this and that's fine you may one day um however um physical expression is the final stage in expression in the process so that's something you might want to keep in mind it's it's almost as if five cents quote-unquote reality let me call it this way which is more correct the uh, the five cents dimension is only one dimension of a multi-dimensional world and yes i know multiverse <laughs> and um that's the way it should be but the physical is the final stage in the in expression because it requires the most densest energy um, structural um, expression. Um, it's the lowest on the energy vibrational frequency range. Um, the more the more um, elevated thoughts, you know, um, spiritual states, mind states, emotional states. Like love and transcendence and all these kind of uh, wonderful things. Uh, the, the, the the long long list goes on. Um, uh, vibrate at a much higher energy frequency, whereas physical reality is the lowest vibrational frequency because it's all energy. No matter how de how solid something appears, everything is made up of energy, and um, physical quote unquote reality is the the one of the densest expressions of energy and of course it takes longer to actualize but um being slaves to one's perspective um is not going to be a good thing especially when people are being accused of being um conservative so you're basically saying that you want to um capture permanently one certain mind state from a certain time in human development now, well, I'm sorry, but that's not how it works. There's one thing that the Buddhists could teach you. Um, one thing that you can guarantee on is change. And one needs to learn to be okay with change. And being open to continuously craft your perspective and look at it as a perpetual work in progress. Start to do that and you start to see some real inner freedom and where no matter what the external circumstances of everyday life may seem like, um, what country or what society is doing really won't have any power over you because you're free of it. Something to think about and uh, as always, to speak the truth is a lonely path. The um, sarcastic 
Irreverent Lone Wolf on guitar, out.